Hi everyone, welcome into another video. This is Nicole Spore, and today I'm going to share a couple of cards created with new products from the Simon Says Stamp Believe in You release. We're going to be using three new products from the release, the Carnation Frame, Sunflower Frame, and the Clean Line Everyday Stamp Set to create a couple of clean and simple sympathy cards. Sympathy cards are never ones that are fun to create, but they're really great to have on hand so that you don't have to make them when you need them. I am going to tape down a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch watercolor cardstock to a board. I'm using post-it tape. Normally I'd usually use painter's tape, but my painter's tape must be packed already in a box. I am moving soon. So I went ahead and used what I had available, which was this painter's tape. Then I'm going to take my Altenew paint palette and I am going to paint shades of blue and aqua down this background. This is super, super simple, but creates an incredible effect. I played around with different amounts of water on my paintbrush. I am using a flat paintbrush so that I can do these kind of wide stripes. I found the results I liked best was when I would wet the paintbrush but wipe away most of the water on a paper towel or a dry rag because my stripes would be much more intense in color. And so as I found that out, as I worked on the background stripes, you can see that I would wipe away most of the water, but I did make sure to clean my paintbrush as I was really well, as I switched colors. Now I'm using my little makeshift water cup as well, um, as again, a lot of my belongings are packed away and I had already packed away um, anything I could use really for a cup and so I had a water bottle that I actually just cut in half and it works great. I believe in improvising whenever possible. I am a big fan of monochromatic. You can see I did play with some green and I really considered that green. I like the green a lot but I decided to just kind of keep it more in the blue family um, instead of pulling in the green here today, although I do think that that would be really beautiful as well to just do blues and greens, especially since I've got some of the minty aqua kind of colors. Now that's way too much water for this mint stripe, but we'll kind of work with it and just try to get a natural transition from one color to the next. I've left this in so you can just see exactly how I created this. This paint palette is beautiful. There's some really amazing colors in it. And I'm anxious to use it for some other things as well. I, I've played around with it a few times. I am not the world's best watercolor at all. Um, I want to be and I keep practicing. Um, but simple backgrounds like this I really love to do. We're just going to keep alternating each color. And you can see I'm just kind of doing a back and forth motion, creating stripes. Now I've taped it down. It's going to help reduce warping, number one. And it's also masked off a little edge. So it's instantly going to give me that nice little border that you see around the finished cards, which I like. I like when I can eliminate a step. I'm going to allow this to completely air dry. And I'm going to leave the masks on. And I'm going to take a little picket fence distress paint and water it down a bit and then take a small round paintbrush and tap flecks of white paint all over. It's important to make sure your background is dry first before you do this so the white doesn't absorb into the blue, but rather sits on top of that. I will remove the post-it tape then and I'm going to let this sit and completely dry while I work on my other background. 
but you can see that I'm left with that nice little border all the way around, which is what I was going for. Nice clean edges. You could also trim this down if you wanted to and mat it on your card base. Let's go ahead and tape down our second background. And this time I'm doing shades of yellow and orange. This one is going to be for the sunflower frame background. And I really liked the yellows and oranges for this. Again, we are just going to switch colors for a natural stripe transition. You could do vertical stripes, diagonal stripes. You could use different widths of paintbrushes if you wanted to. I kept it really simple for my purposes today. I wanted really clean, simple designs. Again, the less water you use, the more intense the color will be. I even went back over some of the colors if I didn't think it was quite intense enough. I'm a huge tone on tone fan um, in pattern paper. That's kind of what I gravitate towards. So I love to create my own that are very similar. And we'll just continue to paint and you can I went over some of these sections a couple times just getting it the way I wanted it to look. You can even blend up into the previous color but I'm really happy with these Altenew watercolors. The color, the intensity is really pretty and there's a great assortment of colors as well. You can even see a little pink or a little peak of a pink background that I did up there in the upper left corner of the screen. I opted not to use that one today. I'm going to save it for another project and instead stayed with the blue background and the yellow orange background. Now, just like the last background, I am going to let this completely dry. It doesn't take too long, especially because I use minimal water here. Um, and once it's dry, I am going to take that white uh, Picket Fence Distress Paint that I've saved over there on my acrylic block, and I'm going to flick that all over the surface of this background as well. Just adds a little bit of interest and distressing to this. I want to make sure I have it completely filled in everywhere. I have die cut both the sunflower frame and the carnation frame three times from smooth white cardstock. This is so I can adhere them one on top of another, which I did do off camera to save a little time. I used a combination of the Quickie Glue from Sakura and the glue tube to glue these one to another, and then I set an acrylic block. In fact, you can see one underneath the acrylic block there so that they would be nice and flat. I'm stamping sentiments from the Simon Says Stamp and CZ Design Clean Line Everyday Stamp Set. We're using the phrases, you are in my thoughts and deeply sorry for your loss on these cards. Then I'm going to take my glue on the back of my stacked die cuts and glue this in place. I used the die as a guide when I stamped and embossed the sentiment from the Clean Line Everyday Stamp Set. We're going to center this in the center of the background and you can see that the sentiment is encased in the frame then. Very clean and simple, yet very beautiful. At this point, your card can be finished if you want to, or you can do what I did and I created a stained glass design. To do this, I love to take a frame 
that has been stacked like this has with three layers of cardstock and inlay some colorful cardstock pieces. This is some Simon Says Stamp teal cardstock that I'm inlaying in the carnation frame. I'm using the Spellbinders tool in one to press those little die cuts in place inside the frame and then in each of those little wells we will add glossy accents just to each section which will make those glossy giving you a faux stained glass effect. This really helps the flower stand out from the pretty watercolored background. I have a fine tip applicator on my glossy accents which makes applying it in these little nooks and crannies so much easier. You're going to want to let this sit and dry for a good hour before you come back and try to put it in an envelope. Even longer once you add the Nouveau Crystal Drops to embellish the design. I would let this sit for probably 24 hours to make sure the Nouveau Crystal Drops completely cure before you put it in an envelope to mail. It's a little hard to see the glossy accents, but once this is dry, it's going to leave the flowers being nice and glossy. We're going to do the same thing for the sunflower frame. This time I'm going to die cut the sunflower from Hero Hue's mustard cardstock and inlay all of those little pieces as well. I'm going to add glue to each of the flower petals and then simply inlay each of those little pieces. Again, using the Spellbinders tool in one to just press them down in place. You could choose to do any color of cardstock that you wanted here or even do multiple colors of cardstock. The frame could be die cut from any color as well. I think black would give another very dramatic result. Even a dark gray would be really pretty here. I used white to tie into the border around our watercolored background as well as our white embossed sentiments. By switching out the sentiments you could make these cards work for other occasions as well. The Clean Line Everyday stamp set also has birthday sentiments, good luck sentiments, congrats, miss you, love you, all kinds of things. So there's lots of options in this stamp set. Or you could use something that you have on hand. Again, I'm taking that fine tip applicator on my glossy accents and filling in each petal with the glossy accents to make this have a glossy raised finish. It's so super simple and easy, but it really is effective. You can see the blue flower on the left has started to dry and it's really getting kind of shiny. That is definitely what we're going for here. That beautiful faux stained glass effect. I'm going to adhere each of these backgrounds to a white top fold card base using a nice strong adhesive. By taping these backgrounds down to a board, they remained fairly flat and they adhere to the cards really easily. The last thing I'm going to do is take some Nouveau Crystal Drops in a couple of colors and add some embellishment to these cards. For the yellow card I'm going to use bright gold Nouveau Crystal Drops and for the blue background I'm going to use silver lining. We're just going to create a few drops here and there, some outside the frame and some inside you could also use sequins or jewels to finish off the card.
I added some little drops to the center of the sunflower as well. This is a big white space on the card, so I went in and added just little teeny tiny drops. One of the things I love best about the Nuvo Crystal Drops is that you can create droplets of any size. Here's the silver lining drops on the blue background. Once I have added all the drops, I'm going to let this sit and dry for 24 hours. I hope these cards have inspired you to try some fun faux stained glass effects with your dies. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two sympathy cards featuring new stamps and dies from the Simon Says Stamp Believe in You release. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamps and Dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel to never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.